before we start, let me show you this picture. Have you played this game before? If yes, then you're familiar with our topic. This game is played in this way. You will combine 2 to 2, 4 to 4, 8 to 8, and so on and so forth. So when you combine when you combine 2 to 2, that becomes 4. When you combine 4 to 4, that becomes 8. When you combine 8 to 8, that becomes 16, and so on and so forth. So this game is an example of geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is also known as geometric progression. So when we say geometric sequence or geometric progression, it is a sequence or a progression in which each term is identified by multiplying the preceding term by the common ratio. So when we say preceding term, that is the term which is found before. So to get the next term, we multiply the common ratio with the preceding term. Now let's know first what is a common ratio. So common ratio is the number that will be multiplied by each term to get the next term of a sequence. So how to get the common ratio? Common ratio is solved in this way. So this sequence is an example of geometric sequence because it has a common ratio. And what is the common ratio of this geometric sequence? The common ratio is 2. Why 2? So again, common ratio is the number that will be multiplied by each number to get the next term of the sequence. What is the number that is multiplied to 1 to get 2? That is 2. What is multiplied to 2 to get 4? That is still 2. What is multiplied to 4 to get 8? That is still 2. What is the number that is multiplied to 8 to get 16? That is still 2. So, the common ratio is 2. Because we have already identified the common ratio, which is 2, let's try to solve the next term after 16. If the common ratio is 2, then the next term after 16 is 32. Why? That is 16 times 2, that is 32. Now, let's solve for the common ratio. Number 1, the given geometric sequence is 3, 15, 75, 375. To solve for the common ratio, we will just divide the second term with the first term. Again, let's divide the second term with the first term. 15 divided by 3 the answer is 5. So the common ratio is 5. You can also use other terms. Like the third term divided by the second term. Or the fourth term divided by the third term. Still, the answer will be 5. Number 2. The same thing. Second term divided by the first term. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And for number 3. Negative, thir negative 6, negative 30, negative 150, negative 750. So, second term divided by the first term, negative 30 divided by negative 6. The answer will be positive 5. So, why is it positive 5? Because when you divide 
negative with a negative number, the answer will be a positive number. Or when you divide like signs, the answer will be positive. Number 4. 5, negative 50, 500, negative 5,000. So, second third divided by the first term, negative 50 divided by 5 is equal to negative 10. Why is it negative? Because negative divided by a positive is negative. Or when you divide unlike signs, the answer will always be negative. For more activities and to understand geometric sequence more, let's try to answer this one. Write AS if it's arithmetic sequence and write GS if it's geometric sequence. And let us solve for D, which is the common difference, or R, which is the common ratio. Number one, the sequence is one, two, three, four. So again, is it AS or GS? The answer is AS. Why? Why is it arithmetic sequence? Because it has a common difference, which is 1. So, let's again review the difference between arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. Arithmetic sequence, if it has a common di difference, Geometric sequence, if it has a common ratio. How to solve for the common difference? The common difference is you subtract the second term with the first term. While for the common ratio, you divide the second term with the first term and that ratio should be equal with the other terms. So let's try. If, if we um, subtract second term with the first term, the answer will be 1. How about third term with the second term still one fourth term minus the third term still one so it has a common difference which is one how about if we do um, division two divided by one is two three divided by two is three halves four divided by three that is four third and it doesn't have a common ratio so it means it is not a geometric sequence but an arithmetic sequence next number two if we subtract second term with the first term the answer will be one third how about third term with the second term the answer will be two thirds how about the fourth term with the third term the answer will be four third does is it the same no so it doesn't have a common difference let's try to solve for the common ratio so again how do we solve the common ratio we divide the second term with the first term the third term with the second term the fourth term with the third term two thirds divided by one third the answer is 2. 4 thirds divided by 2 thirds. The answer is till 2. Four, uh, 8 thirds divided by 4 thirds. The answer is still 2. So it has a common ratio of 2. So the this sequence is an example of geometric sequence. And it has a common ratio of 2. Number 3. Negative 12, negative 8, negative 4, 0. So let's try to see what common number they have. Is it a common difference or a common ratio? Let's try to solve for the common difference. Subtract negative 8 with negative 12. Negative 8 minus negative 12. The answer will be... So... We change this sign 
negative times negative that becomes positive. The answer will be 4. So, negative 8 minus negative 12 is 4. Negative 4 minus negative 8, negative 4 minus negative 8. Again, we change the signs. The answer will be 4. How about 0 minus negative 4? So, we change again the signs that becomes 0 plus 4. The answer is 4. So, it has a common number of 4. And this sequence is surely an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference of 4. How about number 4? 9 over 4. Next to 7 over 4 and 3 over 2. So, let's try to solve for the common number. Is it a common difference or a common ratio? 2 minus 9 over 4. 2 minus 9 over 4. So, to subtract this one, we change whole number into a fraction with the same denominator. Okay? So, what is equal to 2 but in a fraction form? That is 8 over 2. Why? You just multiply the whole number, at least you multiply 2 with 4, and the answer will be the numerator. Or, you can recheck that one. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, 8 over 4 minus 9 over 4, the answer is 1, negative 1 fourth. Okay? How about third term minus the second term? 7 over 4 minus 2. So, again, 7 over 4 minus change 2 to a fraction that is solved earlier. That becomes 7 over 4 minus 8 over 4. The answer will be negative 1 fourth. And if we are going to solve also for fourth term minus the third term, 3 over 2 minus 7 over 4. So we can't uh, subtract them directly because it doesn't have a common denominator. So let's solve for the LCD, least common denominator. The common denominator is 4, or the common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4. So 3 over 2 will be changed into a different fraction, but still they are equivalent to each other. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Next, uh, copy 7. So 6 over 4 minus 7 over 4 is equal to negative 1 fourth. So we have the same uh, answer, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth by subtracting the numbers. So we can conclude that negative that number 4 is an arithmetic sequence because the common difference is negative 1 fourth. So that's it class. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. To be more updated for my future videos, please subscribe in my channel, push the notification bell, and hit the like button. This is Sir Chan, signing off.